Today I'm going on a five day cruise on the Carnival Breeze. And I'm doing what I call the Backpack Challenge. The only things that I'm bringing on this cruise came in my backpack. I have no other luggage. A lot of people have told me this is ridiculous, that I shouldn't do it. I am convinced that people bring too much luggage when they go on a cruise. So, can I have just as much fun as everyone else with only bringing what's on my back? So we're doing what's called a side-by-side -side cruise. We're going to be going on the Carnival Breeze, and then we're gonna spend a day or two in Galveston, and then we're gonna get on the Carnival Dream. It's when I'm on the Breeze that I'm actually gonna be doing this backpack challenge. Now, I am taking a suitcase with me because that's actually gonna go on the eight-day cruise on the Carnival Dream. Now, what I'm actually doing here is I'm putting my clothes in the Space Saver vacuum bag. I'm actually able to put all my clothes in this bag and then squeeze all the air out of it. Then you can take the bag and just roll it up, getting every little bit of air out, and thus you're gonna be saving so much space. Then all I have to do is slide in each of my bags into my backpack and then load up the rest of the things that I have. Now this is one of the techniques that I used when I traveled on the Legia Airlines when I went on a weekend trip to Las Vegas. I didn't take as many clothes with me on that trip, but I was able to fit a smaller amount of clothes into a smaller backpack and I was able to meet their size requirements for stowaway under the seat luggage. Now as day turned to night, we prepared for our trip to Galveston, Texas. Megan didn't get off work until about 7 p.m., so we had to really rush, get the car packed, and get on the road. Now the trip itself was pretty uneventful, and we did stop about an hour from Houston to take a couple hour nap. Now once we got on the other side of Houston, we did make one stop that I believe that everyone traveling through Texas should make. Well, here it is. The sun's so bright. <laughs> Your fat arm. Mm -hmm. Let me take a picture. This is a video. Oh. <laughs> like we fun. made it to Bussies. We made it. How do you feel? Tired, but okay. Yeah, it was a long night. Here, you want to get all this meats out of here for yeah, me? Yeah, I want to eat the meat. Hang on. Tom, we made it to Bussies. Now the drive into Galveston wasn't really that bad from there. I had hoped to get in a little bit sooner to get some time-lapse photography done, but you know, it's all good. Since we were in a few hours early, we decided to get a little bit more rest and then we waited for one of our favorite places to open here on Galveston Island, the Galveston Goodwill. We've had some great luck in the past finding Hawaiian shirts and all kinds of cool things, but this time things were pretty well picked over. After our shopping trip, we drove to the port, we went ahead and dropped off Megan's luggage, and we went and parked in parking lot A. There we decided to walk over. We made it! Yay! Yay. Ship. ship. Not boat. Not boat. It's a ship. It's a ship. It's a ship. So we made it. Overnight trip. It's lots of fun. We oh, are. Yeah, we had like two hours of sleep. It was lovely. It was so lovely. <laughs> <laughs> and. I hope we can get out. We are. We dropped off stuff and we're just backpacking it over. So. Lots of fun. We're gonna walk over to the ship. Is that and the longest line I've ever seen? Yeah, the, the shuttle. The shuttle had a huge line, so we're gonna walk it. Seriously, so it's not like too bad. a mile long. Yeah. So, and a lot of people who didn't drop off their bags, which 
is something you should do when you go into port. I always do that. Drop your bags off before give you go. Give them lots of money. Give them like $20. Yeah, give them $20. bucks. i will take good care of you. <laughs> Anyways, all right. How's it feel? Walking the plank in a good way. Yes, towards walking the, the plank. Towards the ship. I <laughs> <laughs> can't wait. Oh, uh, it's been so long. Oh, fun aboard. Oh, there's fun aboard. Woo! We can go here. <laughs> So the first thing we did was stop at the muster station where in like two minutes they explained everything. Then we went up on Lido and went to a mustard station of a different type. So we got our food and we went ahead and found a nice place to relax, have a good time, taking some sights. Uh, we did see the Carnival Vista and uh, you, all the people you can hear cheering is from both ships. So we're all cheering each other on, about to have a fantastic week. So as we left Galveston and after we got plenty of drinks in us, we got ready for some of the fun deck parties that happen right as we take off. That's right. Somebody's gonna be crowned our booty shaking champion by Chip right now. And I'm gonna start with you first, man. Yes. You do because you've been drinking all day, I can tell. <laughs> Hello, love. Repeat the guys. Ronnie, come in. Listen. Hey, what is your name and where are you from? Candace from Hot Spring, Arkansas! Oh. Woo, Pete, Sue. Now, Candace, listen. You're here on the point of a breeze out of Texas. Because you heard everything is better in Texas right here. Now you come to us all the way from Arkansas. You represent everybody out here from Arkansas. You from Arkansas, make some noise. Yeah, you represent five people right now, okay? Baby, when I tell you, Waffle House is empty this week. But Candace, turn around and face the DJ. You better give them the best booty shaking to represent Arkansas. In three, two, Now you're gonna have to forgive us because we didn't do a whole lot of recording during dinner time on this cruise and we did that because we were with a large group of people that didn't sign up for me recording everybody so <laughs> we decided that it would be best if I didn't record so much there but here is a very important picture though. This is what I was wearing that night and this was the first change of clothes that I made. I also had on some gray slacks and that will be a recurring theme going forward. At the end of this long day, I took a late night nap out on Serenity. And this is where Sleepy Time Trevor would like to remind you guys, if you're not already subscribed, then hey, Go ahead and do that because without you guys, you know, what's the point? Go! 
I'm enjoying myself up on Serenity today, and I need a haircut pretty bad. I purposely did not get one before this cruise, and so I'm thinking that uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get one here on the boat. So this is the before, and here is the after. They did a really good job. I love it. So, I'm gonna kind of keep it like this, I think. I like this a lot, actually, a little messy. So, the whole experience was really cool. The, um, they try to sell you a bunch of stuff, which I did actually buy something. It was this. So, it's a deep cleanse facial wash. Pretty cool. I have a lot of dry skin, and so he had like a thousand products he's trying to sell me. And I will say that it seems like when you get a haircut, it's kind of like a first step thing. So they're they want to upsell you on a lot of stuff, and so um, and so I was kind of prepared for that. So I kind of told him I didn't want facials, I didn't want this or that, and it, I think it came out pretty good though. So because I got this. He took off $10 on the um, haircut, which was great. That's something he didn't need to do, and I ended up just putting that back on with the tip. So I already had to set aside what I was gonna give him on a tip, and I gave him a little bit more. Because he did a good job, I really like it. So it's kind of like, I don't know if you can really tell, but I, I've got some hair. I'm thinning a lot, and so, He's kind of got, got it parted a little bit here and there, and he just went in and ah. So it's pretty cool. So, <laughs> oh no, overall, not so bad, really. I really like it though. I think I look good. Anyways, I think the next thing, do I get rid of the beard? Yeah, do I? Hmm, I don't know. Here, I'll just do the whole walk around. Yeah, I usually give myself haircuts, so this is like a big step up for me, so. Anyways, Megan got a haircut as well, and she looks completely different, so be prepared for that. Uh, she's at her conference, and I think we're gonna go do some exploring. How's that sound? All right, so I checked into a sea day brunch so we will see how that goes but this this is our view right now so not too bad not too bad at all really so so here is a tip for some of you who don't know you can check in and get your table at some of these dining options, kind of like the brunch, the sea day brunches and stuff like that. 
and you can actually wait for them to tell you that your table is ready so you don't have to go out there and wait for your table just right outside the restaurant there's a lot of people that still do that and it just saves you so much time if you check in do what you need to do they tell your table's ready and you've got 10 minutes to walk over there so this is actually the menu you can actually go ahead and preview everything uh, this is sea day brunch so i did kind of flip through and just kind of was looking for what i wanted now i had never tried it before but i was going to try the aft deck i got some extra bacon and it was at this moment i found my new love of my life the dessert of desserts this makes chocolate melting cake look like poo poo doo doo it is the banana cream pie it is so amazing i loved it i'm a big banana person so this was perfect for me <laughs> it's very noisy Now this is the aft deck. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't like it. I expected barbecue, I got this. But this, oh my God. This looks absolutely amazing. Now I shut the camera off here because I needed some time alone with this pie. There might have been a chance that I ordered another pie. You never know. It, it could have happened. It might not have happened. There's no video evidence to prove either way, so stop looking. Anyways, let's get on with our story. So this is my backpack that I took on this trip, and so for our challenge, um, this one's a little bit more forgiving on the space, so I was able to compact things a little bit better, uh, make some better decisions on clothes, and yeah, not too bad. Now this is Cookie, the cruise director. He is amazing, and I mean it in every sense of the word. He's by far one of the most entertaining cruise directors I've ever had the pleasure to cruise with. So if you don't believe me, just watch this. Your host this morning comes to you all the way from Montgomery, Alabama. He's one of the hottest cookies on the seven seas. He was the employee of the month at Meals on Wheels for three months in a row. That's because he was the only employee. People often think he looks just like Denzel Washington. That's what I'm talking about. Carmel Breeze family, go wild, go crazy. Make some noise to your cruiser and his Shook up, he don't even know where he at right now. I tell you, come here, let me get a little baby song. Come here, you, you can go snorkeling at home in the bathtub. All right, this is, this is for you. Right now. Come on, come here, come on. You know your mama got you dressed today. Look at you. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to your final board for a short talk. I have one question right here. Who's excited to be back on a cruise? Make some noise <laughs> uh, to go to deck 10, 11 and 12, and I want you to look over the ship. At 425, the captain's gonna hit that horn. Ha, ha. I promise you at 426, all the people that were partying at Fat Tuesdays at Three Amigos will come running down that pier, pooping their pants. This show is called the Pier Run Show. It's one of the greatest shows you'll ever see. 
If you don't believe me, have your phone charged up. It always happens every concert bell. You don't want to miss it. Now, folks, I'll tell you just like this. When you get to your ports, please don't get out here ready any of these mopeds and scooters. Carnival is not liable. So after the Fun Ashore show, I got some much needed R&R. &R. Mainly, I was just waiting on Megan to get out of her conference. You see, she had spent... You see, the main reason we were even on this cruise was so that she could go to this conference and get a lot of continuing education credits for her job. When I woke up, I had about 15 missed messages from Megan, and yeah, it was getting pretty close to dinner time. So I jumped up, ran in, got ready, and we headed to dinner. Oh, and here's what Megan looked like after she got her hair cut. Her hair's straight. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, I love her. After dinner, we did what we typically do. We, uh, well, we went to the Let's warehouse. You're gonna do what one? The four. Okay. You're gonna get me a puffy guy? Yeah. I like All the right. sparkle cat. Yeah. Get whoever you can, though. Oh, you almost got his ear. How do you decide where to go? All right. I'm gonna try for the wall. All right. The ears might catch on there, huh? Uh, I was way off on that. One. I don't know. Oh, you got near his ear. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna come over here so I can see what you're up to over here. go try another angle here okay. all right actually this might be a better angle okay. smile at me again yay all right oh you definitely got him this time <gasps> Even though I didn't win the toy, we did spend the night making silly faces and playing lots and lots of video games. I'm reach that blue one. Um, let me see. Can I reach this? I want a sparkle one. Sparkle duck. Uh, let's see. Can I get that one, maybe? No. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my Look gosh. Who got a sparkle duck. Sparkle duck. Now this is the end of our video because we did go out, watch a movie out under the stars, out on Lido, and of course we can't record the movie. And of course we can't record the movie while that's playing. But you do not want to miss our next episode when we are in Cozumel, Mexico. Oh yeah, this was a lot of fun. So I'll see you guys for part two. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Tonight's fit is my Tabasco shirt.